Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be here with all of you tonight because, as you probably all know, it's so difficult in the poetry world to integrate foreign languages or to write with foreign languages without having to translate everything or almost justify yourself. So especially I lived, I'm French, I lived in the UK, Ireland, Italy, so it's really important to me to write about languages. So the poem that was published in Pollux Journal is uh, Actually, I, growing up in the southwest of France, I had to learn Occitan, which is a local language for a year in school. So we had to learn a, a song to learn body parts. And I only learned the story behind this song many years later. So the poem is about that. And I have to apologize because I really based the poem on the song's rhythm. So I try to read it normally without singing it and it doesn't sound well. So I have to sing a little bit, I'm afraid, for this one. So anyway, at least you're going to have a good laugh tonight. So this is how young Petit dances. Occitan teachers use a medieval song to teach body parts. Young Petit que danso per l'oreille de France, oh, am la boca, 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 ab la gamba, 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 am la cuesa, cuesa, cuesa. Atalanso Jan Petit. Jan Petit dances for the King of France with the mouth, 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 with the leg, 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 with the thigh, thigh, thigh. This is how Jan Petit dances. Children sing this nursery rhyme, laughing and pointing at their ventre, their wells. I'm Ludi, di, di, with the finger, finger, finger. For Carnival, Children dance like Jan Petit. They create a circle, hold each other, um, la ma, 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 with the hand, 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 and repeat the refrain with enthusiasm. Atalanso Jan Petit. This is how Jan Petit dances. Um, blue pe, 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 with the foot, 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 tied to a wheel, an iron bar breaking his limbs one by one in front of the King of France. Am lu bra bra bra, with the arm, arm, arm. Am lu cap, 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 with the head, head, head. Am lu col, 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 with the neck, neck, neck. So uh, I come from a Basque country, which is a region between France and Spain. And in the 17th century, there were loads of witch hunts over there. And one of the inquisitors um, justified this by saying, you know, over there they speak Basque and also French and Spanish. So they speak several language with, languages, which is really suspicious. So I thought I would share this poem tonight <laughs> because obviously, you know, we live in a world at least where we're not, there's no witch hunt anymore for people who speak several languages. So the title of the poem comes from the, the Spanish village, Spanish Basque village, where one of the witch hunts took place. So it's Sugara Murdi. A rumble of guttural sounds. Their language is the oldest of a continent. The inquisitor ogles his women. He dreams of their tongues, how they form foamy rollers to his sensual spells like those crashing over the shore on the Bay of Biscay. He's bewitched by their trill, their chirped s, the way they click the k and k, their gaping glottis when they utter the letter H. He imagines his sorginac grunting in grottoes, their hexes echoing on the walls. He craves their words. They conjure something within him, something he's scared of. He lusts after this language, which gave its name to the Sabbath. And finally, I chose a poem about learning languages and how easily you can forget them, unfortunately. So this is Blank Tongue. It is very easy to forget a language. One day, you're a sponge absorbing everything around. The other, a colander. A language quickly gets rusty and turns into a nail carrying the tetanus of the tongue. I lost my Spanish during the territorial expansion of my English. I thought my vocabulary was stored at the back of my brain, but my memory has buried it like a tractor planting new seeds in a wasteland. What an unfruitful harvest. It is really easy to forget a language, especially a third or fourth one. 
I erased my Italian verbs and daily life sentences like chalk words written on a blackboard as soon as I left the country. It is so easy to forget a language that you can even forget your mother tongue. My French is mixed with other C swear the words. I misspell false friends with the diction of a drunkard. Thank you very much, everyone.